going to wind the next coil. I just wanted the last coil. I just wanted to give you a quick close up of how the cable tie notch works. See this little notch, it sits in there so that when the coil's done, it can just be wrapped up. So everything's ready. I'm going to roll the last one. Yippee! Right. Cable tie is ready. Now oh, they're in there already. Oh. Check everything's tight. Five, six, seven, eight. Pull the wire over that way, a sec. 15. Moving the wire back over to the left. 16 as I head over to the right. 17. To the right, fill that in. 21, that was all right. 22, yeah, 23, five. Over to the left now. Six, six, seven. Let the tension off a bit. Thirty-eight. Thirty-nine. Tight. 
tension's all down here at the bottom, but that's fine. If you want better to have way too much and not enough. Crossovers in there, 61, 62, need to go to the right, 63, 64, keeps playing over that way, 65. Whew. Still really tight. So we need to make up on the right seventy one, seventy two, seventy To make this easier to do 73, 74, 75, 76. 77 78 Ridiculously tight 79 I need something up here that pull, I can adjust where the wire comes from along here. 81. Damn it. So 82 I'll have to do. Whew. My hands go damn. Monkey business. Come on, baby, don't break. Thank you very much. Yeah, because it's under such tension, my hands having to work really hard. In fact, they're dying. I want to rest. Nice. Like I say, this isn't perfect, this coil winder, it needs a few changes but because of how hot the tension I like to have on the wire the wooden one it wasn't up for it come on oh, my hands are giving up <laughs> my hands are turning to jelly 
Come on, baby. Don't let go. Don't let go. Oof. Oh no. Hands are just going. Ah. Oh. D flop. Get this one on. It's not the easiest thing to do this. Oh, no. Made a right dainty myself now. Oh, where's that one? So I've snapped two cable ties. That's where this one needs to go on. And he's pulled his trap. This is the these are the weights I've ended up with 253, 256 grams, obviously 261, 262, 265, 267, 267, 273, 274, 276, 282, and 286. I mean, that one's got a mega long out on it, but still. <clears throat> so I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to have like a 250 start the phase with a 250 then have a 265 then a 274 and try and equal them out i'll take some i'll have to sort of take it off and feed it round through and let off a couple of uh wines and then give it a snip that off and then weigh it again and equalize them out in some way. I don't really want to try and make them all weigh 250 if they don't have to. You should maybe put a limit on it of 270. So go 253, take some off those. But then again, see, I, don't, I really don't know. I've got to think about it because the ones with the long wires, I'm obviously better off using them, those. Uh, where they need a longer wire I'll do a, I'll do a layout soon but the coils that are furthest away from the exit need a longer out wire so that's a success really that's a four kilo roll of wire and there's still a fair bit left <clears throat> if I add all these up I suppose there's seven Uh, my brain can't be bothered to work it out at the moment, but I could add up how much I've used. But it hasn't come out too bad, so I've got to do some checking on how to, best way to check your resistance and then trim them down and uh, get on building the state or the magnet rotor disc is drying. So did I resining the next disc I'm waiting for the magnets so the job over the next couple of days is get these sorted and build the stator so night no, it's been a long one